In today's episode, we're opening up the brand new set, Silver Tenthus Elite Trainer Box, only available through PokemonCenter.com. In our hashtag real world collector story, Nick is opening up a 1999 fossil pack. And for the would you have done this trade segment, we got three items to go over. Let's have some fun. Hey guys, my name's Joe with Five Pack Magic. Welcome to the studio. And I wanna start off today's video with the would you have done this trade segment. Now I have done three different trades with three different local collectors. And as you all know, I totally forgot what's in here except for one. This big box right here, this is the last trade I did. I know exactly what's in there and I know exactly what I traded for it, but the other ones, I totally forgot. So, surprise for the box, it is the number one chase card for a previous set. What could it be? So let's open these guys up first. This one is from Mason, local collector here. Like I said, I totally forgot what I traded and what I have in return is an awesome holographic vile plume from Jungle. And on the back, oh, look at that awesome. Cedra Dragon Front, what does it say? Frontiers, I'm so sorry, Dragon Frontiers. It was so hard to see from there. So this is what they call a reverse hollow for sets back then. And they got a stamp on it. So the Dragon Frontier Cedra and a holographic Vile Plume Jungle. I totally forgot what I traded him. Now the other one is from Steve. Uh, chances are I traded him some Dragonites. He is always looking for Dragonites. Um, I'll have to go back in messages for both Mason and Steve to see what I traded off, but Steve, once again, totally forgot. And I promise I, I, I'm not making this up. This has been sitting in my possession for like two weeks now. And just between the live stream that we did, um, everything we got going, I had that big trade event on Saturday. I haven't had a chance to shoot a video. So let's see, it looks like it's one card possibly. Oh, it's two cards, they tricked me. See, I don't even know how many cards are supposed to be in here. They could have sent me like the wrong stuff. And I'm like, oh, it's cool, I don't even know. So like I said, I'm gonna try and go back in our messages and show you guys. So here is number one, uh, an awesome Lapras GX. I am a huge Lapras fan. Gen 1, Wizards of the Coast fans, where are you at? Let me know down in the comments. And the other card, oh, look at that sick. Full Art Blastoise GX. So two super cool cards going in the personal collection. Absolutely love it. But this is the big guy right here. I know what I traded. This was done with, um, this was done with Anthony. That's right. Sorry, I got three different things going on here. Anthony, I traded him my Rainbow Charizard. Uh, from Brilliant Stars, I believe is the CAC collection. I'll put it up on screen right now so you can see it. But like I said, this is the number one chase card for one of our previous sets. We did not pull it ourselves, so it has been a big hunt for it. Let's see what we got going on inside here. This has been in my possession for a couple days, so I've been very anxious to open this up. Just packing material inside, and oh, here it is. Let's get it out. What did I trade my Rainbow Charizard for? Oh my God, look at that. Aerodactyl V Alt Art, let's go. I'm on the mission to collect every single Aerodactyl. The only one I'm missing is a full art. So, um, you know, hopefully I will have found these in my previous chat so I can show you. Rainbow Zard for Aerodactyl V. Guys, let me know in the comments below would you have done this trade the moment y'all been waiting for let's open up more silver tempest i'm gonna throw up my personal chase cards right here up on screen we did the 100 pack opening live stream at top notch cards the other day hanging out with two local collectors it was the most amazing thing i don't see any other youtuber inviting local collectors to hang out during the live streams we opened up 100 packs so you know we crossed a couple cards off of the personal chase card list here are the ones that we have left to get. Let's crack this open. The Pokemon Elite Trainer Box comes with 10 booster packs for $49.99 from PokemonCenter.com compared to the Elite Trainer Boxes you find in store for $40 to $45 that come with eight booster packs. 
So here it is, let's crack into it. The first thing I gotta say, it, it actually hurt a little bit opening it because this is one of the most beautiful elite trainer boxes that I've ever seen. The, the snowflakes on it, the colors, Vulpix getting the center of attention there. Um, looking very similar to what we normally see on the back. And like I said, Pokemon Center elite trainer boxes are gonna come with 10 booster backs compared to the eight that come in store. Um, so here is our book right here. And oh, look at the crystals coming up and everything. Oh, those are crystals. Okay. I was seeing the snowflakes on the other one. It's just great colors. Absolutely love it. And you know, we want to flip to the back and kind of get some sneak peeks, some cards that we've already seen from the live stream, um, but some big chase cards. The Rayquaza V Max Trainer Gallery card would be a big one for me. Um, there are the Lugias and the Unknowns. Yes. So, tons of alt arts we have not pulled an alt art yet from this we've actually um did we pull an alt art from lost or i don't think I, it's been a while since we pulled alt art so hopefully all luck guys do me a favor hit the like button right now tell youtube i make some super cool stuff give me that extra good luck and all those thumbs up you guys are doing right now i really appreciate the support uh, but let's see how we did with eight packs inside or ten ten four, six, eight, ten. So we got our 10 packs inside. Here are the dice. Ooh, these are really cool. I actually want to take a little bit better look at this. I like the color of it, but this is the one that I really want to look at. This is really cool. Uh, you got the symbol for the card set right there. I like it a lot. The card sleeve. Oh, Lugia. Yes, there we go. Um, I don't know the difference from the regular Elite Trainer box, which we will be doing that opening up on the channel we still have our foggy card sleeves hey let's put this to the side maybe we'll be super lucky and be using these today oh we know these chips we know these chips yes we're gonna fly right over that but ooh, look at this i saw it in the box check this out check this out check this out oh there's like snowflakes or crystals or probably one of the coolest coins i've ever seen come out of an elite trainer box absolutely love it i'm gonna keep it right there for a bit and oh two okay we get both we get vulpix we get vulpix and lugia which one is your favorite i'm going for vulpix look at that that looks cool i mean the lugia looks awesome with like a storm behind it but i'm a huge fan of the snowflake so um vulpix let's let's use vulpix if we get lucky today let's use vulpix if we get lucky let's have some on standby all right what else we got oh code card people my code card people you're coming up in just a second all right my code card people brick of energies no difference there and here are the dividers oh i thought they would have put lugi on one side vulpix on the other but either way looks great i really like them i actually use these card dividers a lot in sorting through all my stuff so guys 10 packs can we get super lucky and Finally pull an altar. Either way, we're going to have a lot of fun. Let's rip into it. Pack number one and recap what's been going on. I haven't seen you guys in a couple days. You know, the live stream doing 100 pack live stream out in Top Notch Cards, Norfolk, Mass. A little bit about an hour away from me was a lot of fun a great experience i'm so glad that uh tj and julian came and hang out with us guys if you haven't seen it yet the video is still up on youtube for a little bit longer feel free to check it out it was a lot of fun just seeing us hang out and have a good time and open up those packs um but it took so much and that drive home uh, nothing there nothing there um that drive home and and then i had my big event on saturday i co-host an event with a local store once upon a memory child's in palmer massachusetts black border card first chance for a big rare here um so i co-host an event with them and you know we do it for the local collectors and the kids we did two giveaways and jesse if you guys remember a couple videos back jesse donated a bunch of stuff to us to give away to the kids um graded cards and so i put some 3d printed stuff in there and the graded cards and mystery packs and once upon a memory threw in a couple packs and we gave them away at the event the kids were super happy and after that I needed to chill between my full-time job and doing all the social media stuff. Um, it, it's just been a lot of work. Uh, so a couple people have reached out to me and said, hey, everything okay? You still doing videos? And I love that you guys check in on me. Everything's going great. 
I just needed a second to breathe and I didn't want to force out a video. I didn't want to drag in here half asleep and record a video for you guys. And the Pokemon Center box just showed up. So this was literally my first chance to open this video. So that actually worked out absolutely great. Um, some trades going on. I met up with a guy. I'm going to post it on Instagram, um, but I met up with a guy before I came in here, Alex. Um, he's absolutely great local collector. And I bought a bunch of graded cards off of him. I'm going to post the picture up on Instagram. So guys, um, for the people that have been wondering where I am on YouTube, on Instagram, I was posting almost daily. Um, so if you're ever curious what's going on, I try to keep on Instagram daily and keep it all Pokemon, all fun stuff, show off some pictures in my collection, tell little stories about things or trades that I've done. And uh, that's a great way to keep into the loop there. And I pretty much duplicate the post over to Discord as well. So if you like Discord, if you like Instagram, you can be involved in more of the stories going on. Um, and then also with the intro, I told you that Nick is gonna be opening up a 1999 fossil pack. Yes, that happened at our event. I have it recorded. Maybe you saw the short, but I know um, some viewers don't watch shorts. So that's why I'm gonna throw it at the end of the video. So that way you guys can see it. Um, now, people that don't know, oh, there we go. Pissimian is our first trainer gallery card, our first big hit of the video. And I see something behind so all eyes on screen not sure if it's just a v or if it's bigger it looks like it's a v and it looks like an omastar v that's awesome we have not pulled that card yet and you guys know gen one wizards of the coast fans talking about opening up fossil packs that's the first appearance that omastar made was inside the fossil set so i'm glad to be seeing that card that's a nice little double hitter pack going on there um what was I saying? Oh yeah, some people don't watch shorts, so that's why I'm gonna throw that at the end. And oh, what is hashtag real world collector? So a lot of you have joined in on the fun and I can use as many posts as possible. Um, if you wanna join in, it's Instagram, Facebook, Discord, you tag five pack magic and use hashtag real world collector and you can tell off any personal story with your pokemon stuff uh, maybe it's a card you pulled recently or maybe it's your favorite thing in your collection or maybe it's a trade that you did or maybe it's something you bought off of ebay recently whatever the story is if you're excited and you want to share the story i might pick your story and read it on one of our videos uh, so I love the participation in that and I appreciate it. Keep it coming. You cannot post enough. There's no post too small, no post too big. Don't be like, oh, no one wants to see this card. I'm the only one that thinks it's cool. That's not true. I might pick your story to share it. So, so far, this elite trainer box has been pretty slow. Tons of white border cards. Our hits so far have been the... Um, Trainer Gallery Passimian and the Omastar V. So nothing too major here. Uh, white border card. So we are looking for that reverse spot. We have pulled all the radiance of the set already. Uh, so within, well, there's a Professor Burnett. Um, I think that is a pretty rare card if I'm remembering correctly. I believe I have pulled it once, but when I looked it up, I think it said that it was a, a pretty rare pull. So correct me if I'm wrong in those comments, but that is a pretty strong hit right there. Uh, four more packs to go. Uh, what else is going on? So we got a lot of things planned for videos with the, um, uh, you know, we do our two three packs openings because they come with two promo cards. So we'll be doing a three pack opening. We're gonna do the regular Elite Trainer Box. We'll be doing the mini booster bundle. Um, I might do the Arceus box. I have one held for me at Top Notch Cards. I'm just not 100% sure if I want to open it or not. I probably, I know, right? That sounds horrible on camera. Everyone's like, well, yeah, open it. You know what I mean? But we, we got to budget things a bit, okay? Um, I have, what else do I have? I got the 25 uh, Days of Christmas box that we're going to be opening up. Was this a black border? This was a black border and it's an Articuno. So, and I've had, I've had it for a month and a lot of people have been releasing the video in October and early this month. And I was like, I'm going to release it December 1st. So if you guys want to see my reaction to the 25 days of Christmas Pokemon box, December 1st, that video is going to be up for us. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of cool videos coming our way. Like I said, I just needed a little bit of a break and I'm so glad that you guys hung in there for me and said, yeah, we get it. It's cool, man. So now we're down 
This is the third from last pack. No monster hits, man. None in the reverse spot. Usually Pokemon Center Elite Trainer boxes do really, really good for us. So I'm really excited to be opening this. I have tons of hope for these last two packs. So hang in there. Let's see how we're doing on our luck. Let's see what we get here. It is a black border card. But yeah, usually Pokemon Center, I, I was a little surprised with how long it took to get to me. I actually thought that maybe I didn't order it by accident. And so um, when it came in, I was like, I, I guess I did order it. <laughs> but it did take a little bit to come in. But the Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Boxes usually have like the first print of cards. So your chances of big hits in these are pretty good. All right, I do see something in the background. Let's take a little sneak peek here. It looks like a V-Star. I don't think it's a rainbow. I think it's a V-Star. And it's going to be, oh, an Alolan Vulpix V-Star. We have not pulled that card yet either. Absolutely awesome card. I know there are some huge Vulpix bands out there, so that is another big hit. So we have four big hits, the, the Trainer Gallery Passimian, the V-Star, the Professor Burnett, the V-Star, our last pack. And guys, after this pack, uh, like I said, we are going to have Nick, oh, white border card, that's too bad, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna have Nick open up that 1999 Fossil Pack. So let's do Guess the Energy on the last pack. Go ahead and think at home what you're thinking right now for Guess the Energy. I'm gonna go with, um, let's go with Psychic Energy fire energy so we got to hope for the reverse spot last pack guys i really appreciate you hanging out with me we have a lot of silver tempest coming up um big trade event december 12th i'll have my table rented if you're in the area franklin mass come see me uh nothing there so let's take a quick look at these hits and where are we at these guys right here and then let's check out nick opening up that 1999 fossil pack guys thank you so much